I don't even know why I came here in the first place. I left my job. Did you know that? Of course not. But I quit my job to come here. I had a very important position with a very important bank. All right, not a very important position and not a very important bank, but I left all the same. And I don't think it's too much of an exaggeration to say that I was accomplished. I had friends. Well, acquaintances, lots of them. I was somebody. I didn't live in this stupid town anymore. I was urbane, witty, understand? Well, perhaps not witty, but I was droll, all right? I ate in restaurants where they serve things you wouldn't even dream of eating. Portions so tiny that nobody ever even went to the bathroom. Do you understand? And when people died, which wasn't very often in my circle, they had the decency to disappear into a hospital and anesthetize themselves into oblivion, saving the rest of us the excruciating discomfort of having to participate. And please don't take that the wrong way. Of course I want to be here. In the first place, it's my duty. In the second place, well, let's just say it's my duty and leave it at that. I'm not one of these types who abdicates their responsibility. I certainly have no intention of dumping you onto the state. You're my problem. I don't mean problem, of course. You know what I mean. Fine! If you don't want to be compared to a candle, fine. In fact, maybe you're right. Why on earth should we compare ourselves to anything? I loathe metaphors anyway. Stupid idea. You're not a candle. You're an old woman with dirty hair. If you were a candle, well.